Hi there, this is Lucius the Frown Boys from ENG Suite. And today I'm going to show you how to take your two-way ANOVAs one step further with an interaction plot. So we already did this two-way ANOVA and we know from the ANOVA that we have no interaction. Um, well, at least it's not significant at the 0.05. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say no interaction. Our interaction is not significant at the 0.05 significance level. But let's say we want to visualize that. Well, we're going to do QE dot, and then we're going to say interaction plot. We're going to use the same format as that ANOVA two-way function, where we're selecting the factor one, two, and response as individual columns with that first row being the label of that um, either factor or of the response variable. And then you have an optional value here, and this is going to allow you to decide whether you want um, factor one on the x-axis or if you want factor two on the x-axis. Now the default is factor two on the x-axis. That's what Minitab and other um, statistical softwares do, but we want to give you the freedom so that if you go, ah, I don't really like it being presented this way, all you got to do is flip a true to a false. So I'm just going to leave it blank for now and we'll see what happens. And there we go, we have our um, temperature pressure interaction plot. So like I said, um, here we have our factor one axis, factor one is on the x-axis, and we have our pressure is these separate lines. If we were to flip this to true, we would then see it flip pressure on the x-axis and temp on the individual lines and groups. And you'll see that no matter what, line looks basically the same as we expect, um, because like I said, at the 0.25, I mean at the 0.05 significance level, 0.26 is not significant. We don't see any crossing of the lines. If you don't know what that means, we'll get into how to read a temp pressure, or I guess I should say just a factor interaction plot. Um, in this case, it's temp pressure, and I was reading that. But we'll get into all that math, and we'll learn what that means by taking a look at different cases. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and please do something awesome.